Hey, everybody. Coach of the Soul, Thursdays at 3, is ready to begin. This is a 99% clairvoyant reading for the next 60 minutes. I believe it will be. And if you're watching this live, welcome. Please announce yourself. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please like the video and like other videos. When you do that, what YouTube does is sends it to other people that might possibly love Coaching for the Soul. So yeah, it's a win-win for me, win-win for you, win-win for them. Yeah. So, hey, Kathy, how's it going? How you doing? I'm going to talk about some cool stuff today, I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. How's it going? Hope everything's okay with you. Yeah. Hi, Liz. How you doing? Just more spam. Yep. Hi, Holly. How you doing? Mr. Blake Benzman, hello, sir. Hi, Jamie. I'm doing, okay, not great. Yeah, going through a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. We're gonna talk about that for sure. Because I think more people are gonna start going through it too, if you haven't already. So yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, I got to get situated here. Yeah, it's been a. I don't know. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Yes, it has been extremely transformational in the last couple of weeks for sure. But hi, Laura. Namaste to you too. Hello, Allison Strange. How's it going? Yeah, so wait just another minute or two and see who else pops on before we start. Yeah, see what happens. Let's see what's up. Kind of a rainy day in Detroit today, but it's not cold, so it's nice. Not too bad. Gonna be a nice weekend, I think. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I think they said. Yeah, hello, Darlene. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Stacy Casey, what's up, my sister? What's up? Yeah, so, um, yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna start. Yep. Hi, Lisa. How are you today? Hey, Pat, what's going on? Good to see that you caught me today. Yeah, it's very good. Awesome, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is, hi Karen, how are you doing? Um, I kind of mentioned in the um, in the posting today that I was guided to do that uh, Steve Noble guided meditation. Hi Sherry, how are you doing? Um, that guided meditation today that I haven't done in two years for anxiety and um, I forget now. <laughs> Anxiety and, um, hang on a minute, guys. I got to go take care of the dog. Hang on. What are you doing? Hey. The dog is having a dementia day. So, sorry, guys. Um, he's having a dementia day. He had a bad day yesterday and a bad day before. So, he's having a rough time right now. Kind of tying them with daddy. So, hi, Bonnie. It was good to see you at the psychic fair last week. Um, so, anyway, guys. Um, I was guided to do the fear and anxiety meditation this morning at 2 a.m. Um, when I woke up in kind of not really a panic attack, but in a, I don't know what it was. It was kind of like they woke me up. We had a little conversation. <laughs> little conversation um, and, uh, yeah. And so this morning when I woke up, got everything situated. Bailey, like I said, Bailey had a bad night. So my house was kind of destroyed um, with stuff. And um, 
And so uh, I've been being guided for probably the last maybe week and a half, two weeks, that I needed to go through, hey, Teresa Parker, that I was in the process of going through third dimensional energy from this lifetime and past lifetimes. And that I, um, that I really needed to do, um, that I really needed to do some, uh, some energy work or some, some releasing work, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys, I was diagnosed with irritable, irritable bowel syndrome three months ago um, and colitis three years ago, three months ago. So my life's been turned upside down, completely turned upside down. Nothing that I can eat that I've eaten for 62 years can I eat now. So I'm in the process of elimination, basically, um, of trying to find that balance, which is very, very difficult to find um, because every day your system is different, kind of like our energy. So not only am I dealing with the transformational movement into the future, but also um, being guided that I need to release third dimensional energy this lifetime, past lifetimes. Um, but also I'm not trying to change my diet, uh, which is extremely difficult. It is all encompassing. Um, it, it's really tough. <laughs> it's a really tough thing. And it goes, it gets tied into the third dimensional energy. It gets tied into the third dimensional um, um, uh, lifetimes, right? That I was told, I was guided this week, I believe it was, maybe, and maybe, I think last week too, that, um, that um, I needed to look at past lives. That I needed, that was why I was having the problems with my gut, is all the energy that usually most humans store is in our gut, right? Our intestines and things like that. Well, it's true for me, for sure. Um, and all the irritable things that are going on, it's because of the energy from past lives. And I've worked with Tammy about this too, a couple of times in the last two months or so. Um, just adds and ends stuff. I think I've talked about him before. But it's really, really hard at 62 years old to change your eating 100%. It's extremely difficult. I'm always dehydrated. I'm having to drink warm water, never cold water, never cold beverages, no soda, no fruit, no, no protein. I'm introducing protein back into my life right now um, to see what works, what doesn't. Beef will not work. Hey, Carl. Um, uh, chicken, we're gonna try chicken. We tried chicken this week. So far, so good. Nothing has been um, been finalized, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I used to eat chicken every day, twice. And I'm losing body mass, so I'm shrinking and things like that. So it's very, very interesting um, that Spirit has talked about how much lighter we have to be to move from place to place. Um, that we have to change the way that we eat, which is true. Only for me, it's extreme. And, and when I did the meditation this morning, it was absolutely a WTF, a WTF moment. I'm like, what in the hell, right? And I'm also guided to do yoga. Um, guided to do yoga and Tai Chi, I believe it is. Um, from seeing that movie, which was the last airbender. It all kind of ties in together, right? So I know, Spirit says, we're doing this all now to, to, to move you forward. Um, um, doing this all now, even though there's excruciating pain and agony, psychological, just intense things. Um, again, it all led, it all comes from the diagnosis. Um, and I thought I had cleared that with Tammy and everything else. Well, now it is, it is just, oh my gosh, it is 10 times worse, the anxiety and things like that. But I understand it. I know. I'm feeling all of the anxiety and the energy and the anger from past lives. I just got that, guys. And it's all right here. It's right there, it, right there in my solar plexus, right there. Solar plexus, yeah. Heart chakra, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know me guys, I'm honest about everything. I let everything out and people are like, why do you do that? Because guess what? If someone else goes through it, they can kind of look back and go, oh my gosh, 
Bill went through that a year ago, or Bill went through that six months ago, or Bill went through this, whatever, right? Um, I'll be the guinea pig. I've always have been the guinea pig. So, so, so as I go through this, I will continue to talk about it, all right? Um, I will, um, because as we go through this transformation, as Mars goes into Aries, which is its home sign, and it's going to absolutely just make everything Jupiter so much better and so much more intense and so much more everything, clearing the way. Um, this makes sense. This makes sense to me. Does it make it any easier? Not at all. It's extremely difficult. Um, Lee's like, well, what am I going to eat? Last night I got him fried chicken <laughs> because he hasn't eaten a normal food in probably three, four, five days. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to cook him food and then cook myself food too. Um, and it's tough. It's a tough thing, but that's transformation, right? I, I know every time, Hey Nancy, every time that, that I talk about this again in my house with spirit or on cooking for the soul or any other social media that I do, um, it totally makes sense to me that they are absolutely getting me ready for Hawaii. They're totally getting me ready for Hawaii because I'm the one who has to transform. Um, and I understand that. Is it brutal? Oh yeah, it's brutal. Um, and, and, and not having supportive doctors, hey, Dina, I don't have supportive doctors at all. Um, I'm looking for new ones. Um, because I don't think you should have, you should have to learn this on your own. I'm not that guy. I think the doctor that you pay lots of money should be able to give you a diet plan and give you other things instead of just saying, here, do this, and then you don't talk to them for a while. So I need more attention than that if you guys don't know that. I'm a little high maintenance. Um, and I'm okay with that, okay? I'm, I am definitely okay with that. Hey, Barb. So as I go through this transformation, you guys, I'm being guided to go back into 3D. I'm being guided because that's what's inside, right? My 10,000, 11,000 year old Capricorn soul has 10 or 11,000 or more years of being human on this planet. And it had, and I, we all know it was not, it was never easy. This lifetime has been easy for anybody. So think about that when we didn't have anything, we didn't have a society. Even if the pack 100 years, where were we then? Oh my God, primitive, right? So understand that we have all right? We've all gathered all that energy. We've gathered all that accumulated yuck, spirit says, that gunk, that oily gob. Um, hey, Amy, all those things. So when we have situations like this, either physically, emotionally, mentally, we can kind of go, okay, what is that from? Well, depending upon your zodiac sign, usually, not always, but usually, I know for myself it's true, that I've lived tens of thousands of years, I believe. Not just in this human incarnation. So I believe, I think that's what has believed, I think that's what has made me the clairvoyant energy worker that I am. The coach, the soul guy, um, um, all the connections that I have, um, not only come from the 10,000, 11,000 years of this human lifetime, but also previous ones. Also, I understand about different dimensions and that sometimes our, our energy can be scattered. It can be in different dimensions at the same time. And I believe that's what, um, I believe that that's what deja vu is. Okay. When you dream in deja, and then you have a deja vu, well, from what Spirit has told me, that is because, hey Brenda, that is because that happened in another dimension and it's just happening now. So, so I know. He says, get out of it. Okay, can't you? I'm taught. It's funny, guys. Today I have three guides talking to me at the same time. They're talking to me at, at different intervals and it might be the dimensional, it might, it might be the dimensional thing. I'm not sure, but that would make sense to me. But, hang on, I have to get them to stop. Only one, only one voice. Ooh, only one voice. No, you have to be, uh, uh, no, you have to come as one. You cannot be scattered like that. You have to come as one spirit. You cannot be, uh, I can't, now there's five. No, you cannot do that. No, you have to come together. 
You have to come together. You cannot scatter. You cannot bring more people in. No, that doesn't work. I'm not there yet. He wants me to try. I'm like, no, I'm not going to try that. No, stop. We have to come together, guys. Everyone has to be a one. We talk about this, all right? Okay, they agreed to that. Okay. They like the dimension thing. Well, we can't talk about the dimension thing right now because that's not the agenda today. We already set the agenda, guys. I have a feeling in the future we're going to talk with different people at different times um, and kind of go through this multi dimensional stuff that came directly from them. We're going to go through some interdimensional things. We're going to go into different sections. We're going to go into this. We're going to go into that. Okay, great. But today's that's not what Coaching for the Soul is about. Coaching for the Soul today is about transformation and about us becoming lighter and changing what we eat and us understanding that, that as we're prompted, um, as we're led, as we're told, right? As we are more focused on what we have to do, because I've said this before, directly from spirit, that we need you to change. Sorry, guys, I'm playing with my nose now. We need you to change we need you to do this, we need you to do to that, we need you to do this, we need you to do that. And it's usually changing your behavior, changing the way you think um, with ego, right? Changing what you say to yourself out loud and other people, just, just if you live that authentic lifestyle, which I have learned I do that as best I can. Um, but also that, that, that there's a timeline, right? And if you're a laggard, which I don't think any of us are, but it may, we may seem like that, that we put things off and things like that. Um, 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 they need you to get from point A to point B to point C. So this is what can happen, all right? And I totally accept responsibility for that. I was told two years ago to stop eating what I was eating and change what I was eating, and I didn't understand what that meant um, because they didn't give me any guidance on that. So um, now I get it, right? But with me, with, with the pinpoint, with the, um, important dates in my life, right? Kidney disease for eight years of my life, almost died three times. Um, some other medical stuff happened in 2000. Um, now this. So it makes sense. And I actually had a conversation with Spirit yesterday morning as I was laying in bed, like, okay, what soul would sign up for this Spirit? What soul, what was I thinking, right? What is going on with that? And that's when I got, you need to do that damn meditation. I'm like, oh my God, I will. And then I didn't do it because yesterday I was in a fog all day because I didn't have much to eat. So it messes with your chemistry, right? So um, I get it. I get it. But as we move forward, as we're more and more... Hey, graceful bird, Jessica Rakoff, you're new, I think, to me. Welcome. Um, as we go through this transformation... As, we, as we're connected more and more to the universe, because as that energy rises, as we go higher and higher in 4 and 5D and beyond, right? We're all gonna have to go through some type of physical transformation. So I guess I'm a guinea pig. I'm okay with that. But can you make it a little bit easier for me? I'm getting more and more into energy work, having Tammy help me out. Um, 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 and one other person who, again, it's Mercury retrograde, right? So this person comes back into my life um, last week after four, after four years um, and named Brenda, who is part of the Indigo, Indigo Doors in St. Clair Shores, um, who does quantum healing, right? And I'm like, hey, Terry. I'm like, okay. So I reached out last week. Um, we didn't get a response back. Reached out again this week. And, and she... Um, and uh, she reached out today. Awesome. We're going to talk tomorrow. So again, Spirit says, get in touch with Brenda, right? I'm like, really? I was like four years ago. I haven't seen her in like four years, maybe three years. He's like, reach out to Brenda. Quantum healing. I'm like, okay, um, we're going to do that, right? Um, do I know why? No. Is it energy work? Yes. Is it, is it some type of connection? Yes. Um, I hope that I can see her as soon as possible, being the Capricorn that I am a winner, right? Because I keep getting this message, we're moving very soon. And, and, um, and not that it will change if, um, if I move faster because 
with this diet thing, I can't. It's all about getting as much knowledge as I can. Um, doing my, again, doing two year old meditations that I haven't done in two years to, to um, help facilitate the lessening of the energy to remove maybe four, five, six, seven, ten thousand years of, of, of negative energy or, um, um, hang on, damaged, defective energy. All the things from past lives that have clogged me up. I don't flow properly. Um, in the last, you are in the last stages of flow. You're in the last stages of the flow, Bill. You are on this process for a reason. Um, quantum, a true quantum leap here. He says it's a true quantum leap here. Hi, Jennifer. Um, and that makes sense. That makes sense to me because we've talked about that before. Um, he's, I'm in the middle of that. Um, I'm in the middle of my transformation. You're in the middle of completely transforming your human body into a higher dimensional being. Hi, Kimmy. So I think I've mentioned before that Spirit has showed me since 2018 that I would be in a green robe with a hood, a ribbed green robe with a hood on it, like a monk. And I remember saying to him, well, hey, Jennifer, so do I have to, do I have, can I wear regular clothes or do I have to wear that robe? And he goes, really? That's what you're worried about? Hey, Shay. I'm like, yeah. Again, that was my, that was my, my third dimensional being, right? Like, really? Can I just wear normal stuff? Why do I gotta be weird? Well, now I get it, right? Do I think that I will be that person? No. With the robe on? No. In Hawaii? No. Do I believe that it's the knowledge aspect, it's the energy aspect, it's the dimension aspect? Oh, definitely yes. Definitely yes. Um, am I excited? Oh my God, you cannot believe how excited I am. But the transformation of my human body is a pain in my ass. And, and, it, and it, just does, it just is crazy, right? That in three months, boom, everything has started to shift. And what's interesting to you, I'm gonna make a sidebar, is I've only done one reading this week. I did two last week. And I think, and then I did the Psyche Fair in the middle, right? Um, and it's interesting how my energies drop so low into 3D that no one can see me. And that's them, right? Bringing me down because they know that I have to lose that third dimensional aspect, right? That third dimensional purge, Spirit says. There's, he's, he's a, it goes so deep into the cracks and crevices of your body, of your etheric body, spiritual body, your emotional body, right? Three times the stuff. And we all have that. So when we clear our human body, well, that's fine. But you still have your spiritual body, your etheric body, and also your emotional body. Hi, Sue. So as we go through this process, don't be surprised if all of us are, are moved forward, are intensified, are being led either through emotion, energy, or human. But that makes sense to me. He's never said that to me ever about the three bodies. Never. We've, he, we've never talked about that. So, um, uh, so Darlene says, maybe it's the green robe of what you wore in Atlantis. It will probably be the green robe that I, that, I, that I wore in Lemuria, which is under Hawaii, um, at the same time as Atlantis. Um, Lemuria sank first into the Pacific Ocean. That's why the energy on the Pacific Ocean is so much more chill, because Lemuria was a non-threatening state, where Atlantis on the East Coast sunk after that, and Atlantis was more warlike. That's why the East Coast, including Detroit and Michigan, um, are more intense, um, which is Fine, um, but that's much more of me. So um, Darlene, thank you. That's very, 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 very true. Hey, Janice. So as we go through this, guys, right? As we work our way through, as we're called to different categories, as we are called to, 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 to clear out and to clear more and more of our three bodies, which I never even thought about before. I thought they would all be one when we would have a clearing, but obviously they're not. So that's interesting. So we can take bits and pieces and bits and pieces as we move forward, as we're guided to do those third dimensional Steve Noble guided meditations that are two years old from when we were all more 3D. 
all right? Because all of our energy that we are trying to lose comes from third dimension. All of the, all of the horrible things. And when I talk to people about, when I'm doing readings and things like that, and I'm talking to people about their, their, their negative ego, right? The voice in our head, um, that it knows every single time and how you died. Now think about that. It's tied to the gunk that's inside of us because we, our DNA, just from past life, can change to this lifetime. Imagine if you're an Aquarius and you're 2,000 years old, or you're a Leo and you're almost 4,000 years old, or a, or a Cancer, right, that is 3,000 years old. I mean, my gosh, think about that, right? Or a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Capricorn, which is the oldest souls on the planet. How much dirt of the Earth signs do you have inside of you? Gunk. That we have to clear out as we move forward. Yeah. See? So as we go through this transformational period, as we're called to different places in our lifetime, we have to allow and accept and understand that, hey Cheryl, that um that we have to do as guided, right? We have to understand that resistance is not an option, right? It is not going to work. That um, that even people like myself, and I know there's 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 one or two other people right now. Um, Lori Lipton is one of them, who is going through this massive change. Oh my gosh. I mean, she was in the same place at the same time for a long time. And in the last six months, she is being challenged and, 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 and changed and moved and opened and cleared. Um, her and I are pretty good friends and I follow her on Facebook very, very adamantly because um, she's, her, her body's hurting, right? And she was just in Chile and she's been another place too in the last three months. I mean, she's doing all this international travel now, which is fabulous, right? Because that's what she's guided to do. And she truly is, she truly is guided to do that, right? And so understand that as we're guided, as we are lifted up in energy, as our life seems to change, I know there's a few people that follow me that will that either are here live or they'll watch the YouTube, um, will resist that because they like where they're at. I've done my work, I've done my change, I've done this thing. And it's like, okay, well, you don't have a choice because you're signed up to be here, not here, right? It's about where they need you to be because you agreed to it. So Blake says, can you go through astrological signs many times? Yes. Um, um, well, what Spirit has told me is that it is three, four, or five lifetimes in every single zodiac sign because you have to master the zodiac sign because every zodiac sign has different lessons. You can't be a Capricorn without going through all of the other BS of the other 11 signs. Can't be a Virgo, can't be a Cancer. And I say that, let's say, as, um, as, uh, as, being a Lib as being a Libra or a Gemini in an air sign. You have to go through all three to be the king, queen of the air signs. Then the only way to be a Cancer is to go through all of your Pisces and all of your crazy Scorpio lifetimes, okay? And then as you go into the fire signs and the Aries, which is brand new energy and brand new fire and brand new everything. We got power for the first time. Well, then you got to be a Sagittarian in three, four, five lifetimes, depending upon what your soul journey is. And then you get to be the Leo who's at the top of the food chain and the, who believes that they are absolutely king of the jungle. Nothing can touch me. I'm good. And when I talk to a Leo that is at the end of their Leo lifetime, getting ready to be a Taurus, they are confident, they are lovely, they're wonderful people. It's the ones underneath those Leo lifetimes in the Leo sign that are miserable people. They have a really hard time trying to figure out, I've got all this leadership ability, but what do I do with it? But then after you leave Leo and you go into Taurus, well, Taurus is the first earth sign. Well, again, you go from being king of the jungle to being stuck in the dirt, first lifetime, and most Torians in their first lifetime are miserable. They don't understand. They're confused. I don't understand why I have to change. I don't understand what this is. I shouldn't be this person. Well, guess what? You are. Because every lifetime there's challenges. Every zodiac 
element, right? Element is challenging. That's why I named the element packages the element packages, right? Is it if you're a new, again, if you're a newbie, right? Then you're an air sign. Great, there's a package there, right? 15 minutes, 15 minutes a month, one question a month. Sure, I'm just going through my discovery. It's no big deal. Then the water signs, right? Water gets you half an hour reading every month and you get two or three questions a month. And then you go into fire, which is more challenging. Hey, Chrissy, right? It's more challenging the fire. Hey, Brenda. So all of a sudden you get 45 minutes of readings in a month and you get three, four questions a month. And then you go into earth signs, which is my God, I get, you get an hour every single month and you get an hour reading every month for 13 months. Think about that. And you get four or five questions every, every month because it's strenuous being, a, being an earth sign. It's tough being an earth sign. Can it be tough being an, being an air sign? Yeah. And sometimes air signs need a bigger package. <laughs> Everybody can use a bigger package, right? So sign up for, check those out, right? I don't know where that came from, but Spirit promoted it. Kind of wild and cool. Thank you, Spirit. Um, but that's what the element packages are about, right? It's all about learning. It's all about what can I learn faster in air, in water, in fire, in earth. Because what's interesting is, and Spirit has guided me this for years, is that our souls get bored. They get all cleaned up and ready after, it used to be 100 to 125 years. But now when we're in quantum timelines, right? That sped up maybe 25, maybe 30, maybe five, maybe 10 years. That's all you'll be in Spirit. Same, because our soul is like, all right, let's go. Why? Because as we get into fourth and fifth dimensional energy, the energy is lighter. Soul doesn't have to bring all that heaviness into this lifetime. That's why everyone who watches Code You for the Soul, everyone who is alive at this time, doesn't matter what your age is, preferably at over 45, maybe 50, we chose to be here this lifetime. Why? For the energy shift. For the energy shift. Why? So we can come back faster next time. I'm 62. I believe I got 30 years left. Well, what's going to be a glorious 30 years when you get rid of all this gut stuff going on with me, right? My energy gets really, really great. And I'm living truly in 5D or higher. I'm ready for that. In Hawaii, in my house, connecting to the Lemurians and writing my books, channeling the books, traveling the world, talking to people about the Lemurians and how to change your energy and things like that. When I was guided for that four years ago, did I get it? No. Do I get it now? Oh yeah. I totally get it. So as we go through this, the reason that you chose to be here now is so that you can clear this energy this lifetime. It's true. A prime example right here. 10, 11,000 year old Capricorn got to let go of his stuff. And we always carry it in our gut. Why? Because that's where we store our waste. I never thought about that before. Thank you. That's where, we, that's, where we, that's where we put our garbage. That's where we put everything, right? That's when, as we go through our lifetimes and we have our nuclear, I call it nuclear waste, our baggage, we, go, we can carry it here if we want to, but it's much more secure pushed down into our gut from our heart. That's why as we go through our, our, our talk therapy or we go through our psychological therapy, we go through our spiritual therapy, we go through our emotional therapy, right? We're letting stuff go. Every week it just comes up and comes up and comes up. That's why I've always been guided to tell people to do those Steve Noble guided meditations twice a week for five weeks. Because as soon as you get to the end of the week, right? I, I mean, this is the way that Spirit always explained it, was the fact that your Monday's really good to do the meditation. Tuesday's great because you lost 25 pounds of energy. Wednesday, about four o'clock, guess what? You start feeling like crap. The next load's ready to come up. And look, Spirit always says, you need to regurgitate your stuff. Got to regurgitate it. They need to regurgitate. And that makes sense. Pulling it up from down here in our gut and letting that energy go. So with the Zodiac, it's exactly the way that they've described it to me. Hey, Brenda. Yeah. 
the way they've described him to me is, is every single lifetime in every single zodiac sign gives you history, gives you knowledge, allows you to go up the food chain. But then what do we do with all the stuff, all the trauma? That's usually what everything is in every single lifetime. How did you die? It was never that you died of old age, 99% of the time. Starvation, freezing to death, could have been the Crusades back in the 1200s, 1300s, whatever, right? Could have been anything, could be in Egypt. Who knows? Will we eventually know? I hope to, to know some of it. I understand my last two lifetimes, right? And it makes sense to me. Hi, Adrian. It makes sense on why I am who I am this lifetime. And I got that from spirit. And other people have told me other things. And spirit's like, no, that's not true. Because what they do when you know and you're connected and you are, and, and we have a deeper sense of meaning, spirit says, that what they tell you is true and they scatter the energy so no one else knows but you. Why? Because they don't want you to follow somebody else. Once you get into that spot of knowing, they want you to make sure that you connect to them. That's why whenever I do readings with people and even on Coaching for the Soul, the Spirit always talks about your guides need to be your best friends. You need to say Spirit, blah, 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 blah. Have to. And people at the beginning, when I started giving that message from Spirit, um, a lot of people who do what I do for a living said, no, you don't really have to. Hi, Sheila. Um, hi, Candace. Um, and it's like, well, I'm just, Channeling, I'm just channeling what they're telling me and I stand firm in that because I'm a pure channel. So um, again, there's a reason why my guides have me channel certain things. And I think because being the earth sign, they know how to get earthlings to connect to our guides. How earthlings can actually enhance their spirituality can actually be part of their spirituality, can actually allow themselves through guidance, not just one person's guidance, but their guidance, right? Like we all have different sets of guides. I know the Spirit told me in 2020, I have 73 guides in my ivory tower above my head. And I think I mentioned that in Coach for the Soul a couple of times. That I've gathered over 11 or 10, 11,000 years of lifetimes because all of a sudden I have that knowledge. And it's not just one person, not just one spirit, not just one soul, not just one, I call them anomalies, because they've never been human from what spirit tells me. Like, no, we've never been down there. No, we came to, we came with you from someplace else. Awesome, check that out. Again, we all have our own guides. So as we go forward and you start to connect even deeper with them, and you start to, to become clairvoyant, because all of you will become clairvoyant. Trust me. As soon as you remove more and more of that negative gross energy that's inside of you, that has been in there for centuries, maybe thousands of years, as you're prompted through changing the way that you eat, changing what you do for a living, changing what you, how you act on the planet, corresponding to the energy that's on the planet, um, again, we're getting, still getting gamma rays from the freaking solar storms are on top of every other astrological inspect, aspect that's going on. It's going to continue through the year, quantum leap year, right? So we're facing a lot of stuff. We're facing a lot of stuff. And, and having us understand that, that it's okay, that we're being challenged as humans, that we are being 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 put into situations that we've never been in before. And not only is our negative ego, that 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 lifeline to our past lives, right? I never said that, that's kind of cool. Lifeline to past lives, in a negative sense, I would say, because never the good stuff. Um, that um, hi Haley. Um, um, we have to understand that, that we have to 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 allow it to happen. That we it can be scary. Oh, trust me. I'm the first person to tell you, I've never gone through th something like this in my entire life. My entire life. And I've been through some stuff, trust me. As a kid, y'all know about that, right? So again, why did I sign up for this? Because I did. To be the example, Spirit says. Example. So as you're challenged with that, I don't want anybody to freak out. 
I don't want you to get, I want, I know. He says, we want them to understand that it's just a process. It's just a process, a means to an end, a means of clearing, they say, that we all are going to have to go through it. Bill's just at the forefront. Other people are at the forefront of that. Not for example, but to lead the way for others. Hey, Carson. Because with higher energy, with more divine guidance, with more divine intervention, Spirit says, I can help you guys clear the way so it's not as difficult, not as unknowing, Spirit says. Um, not understandable, but understandable. Does that make sense? Right? So that we don't freak out, and they're really intense today, so that we don't freak out because we don't know that we... Um, that we, that, 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 the phone is going crazy today, right? Um, that, that we know something's changing, that we know something is different, that we know the challenges that are there, that we understand, but we question. We understand, but we don't know. which helps us psychologically, Spirit says, for us to clear ourselves, we under, that not, to be, not to be scared, not to be freaked out, not to be, not to feel punished, he says. Not to feel punished, now that's interesting. That's interesting, not to feel punished, right? Human has a default and it's punishment they believe, oh, that's, my God, that's so freaking true. Oh, man, energy. Human has, a, has an integrated system of feeling punished, of feeling that, that, that what did I do wrong? Um, why am I being punished? Yeah. And that comes from our past lives, he says, right? I know. Think about the Egyptians and the Jews, right? The Native Americans and the white people. Um, um, the conquerors, he says, of Mexico, from Spain. Um, 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 all kinds of, all kinds of different things, he says, um, are all inherited in our DNA. They are all survival instincts. Ooh, sheesh, hang on, guys. They're all survival instincts. They are all, they are all things that have kept, kept us alive for tens of thousands of years. That are, oh, okay, 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 guys, come on. We have never had this intense in a really long time. We have to understand that all of those things need to be purged. We need to understand as humans for us to be, for us to move in a higher dimension, for us to, to, to truly be higher dimensional beings, for us to be global citizens, that we as a collective, one at a time, need to allow ourselves to let those instincts go that have been inherently delivered to us for survival. Where we are going is not survival. It is truly living. Living at a higher dimensional being, living at a place. Oh my gosh, I get it, spirit. My heart just exploded. Living at a higher dimensional, living at a space where we've never lived before, understanding that, that, that we are all connected to the divine universe. We will all get there in time. We will all get there as we go through our process of elimination, he says. Those of you who will feel afraid need not to be. Hi, Amanda. That is when you look inside yourself. That is when you watch a program like this. That is why, that is when you connect to your guides. That is why you have conversations with us about everything that is possible, everything that is being cleared, everything that, that you don't know about. But higher dimension is your destiny, Spirit says. That is exactly where you're going to be um, in this lifetime. 
within the, most of you within the next two years, he says. Your life will dramatically shift, will dramatically change. I haven't channeled like this, guys, as intensely in a really long time on Coaching for the Soul. Everyone needs to understand that transformation is coming, um, that, 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 that not to be fear, not to be fearful, but all of those instincts are inside of you. All of that, he says, as Bill talks about, hang on, as Bill channels about, interesting. Now it's like everyone. As Jill, as Bill channels about his progression, um, as Bill channels about about um, about his 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 clearing, his difficulties, his not understanding. You will all have some type of the same, probably not as intense as this, because Bill is the vessel. Bill is the vessel for information. Bill is the vessel for, oh, God, spirit, okay. <sighs> My heart again. Bill is the vessel of knowing of, emo oh, God, emotional change, intense change, um, 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 not only with all three of your bodies, but other bodies also that are, that are deep inside of you. No idea what that means. We will know more and more about you. Will, you will know more and more about yourself as you are brought into fourth and five D and beyond. But when fear comes up, he's, when fear comes up, spirit says, when you don't understand, that's when you reach out to us. That's when you reach out to people like Bill. But that's when you reach out and have that communi have that communication, have that conversation, have that try to. Try to receive the understanding from us, as all of you will in the future. As you transform out of third dimensional lifetimes with your jobs, your families, your marriage, your friends, yourself. Within 24 months, most of you will all be different people. Most of you will, most of you will, 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 most of you will look back at this time and not notice the struggle, but you will notice the dimension. You will notice infinity. You will notice the opportunity to continue to grow and to channel us and, and to, ooh, okay, and, uh, and to understand us more. Most of you, most of you don't hear us. Most of you don't see us. Most of you don't, don't, don't feel us. But as you go through the rest of 2022 and 2023, by 2024, most of you, he says 99% of you, will be totally connected to your divine source. As we need you. As we need you to be the powerful humans that you are in this lifetime. Not only here, but around the world. This is not a message specifically for Bill's people, for Bill's friends. This is a message that is divinely guided for the world at, for the world at large, for the world as a whole. He keeps what I know. They keep wanting to go back to the fear, guys, okay? Because we all get the fear. That's that ego that's been with us for 10, 11, whatever years, right? Thousands of years. He says, and what Bill has checked, Challen channeled in this segment is true about, this is not the same, same guy, this is someone higher. This is the authority, he says. We are the authority. So the higher dimensional guides, remember the guys that looked like Thor that I talked about weeks ago, maybe months ago? That's who these people are. They're very, they're very, Firm. They're very authoritative. They're very, but but loving and wonderful. You will, you all have them too. We have not shown up yet. We have not shown up yet. But when we do, do not be afraid. When you get into that energy where you are allowing yourself to connect more deeply with us, not worrying about what people say around you, not worrying about being the weird human, not worrying about being different. We will show ourselves. Hi, Candace. Candy, sorry. 
you are all true higher dimensional beings. You're all, T says, children of the universe, star seeds. And allowing yourself to be that through recognition. He says, allowing yourself to be that in higher dimension. Allowing yourself to understand more and more about yourself. Again, with past lives. With the connection of our ego. And I believe that's when ego will turn positive ego. So that all of a sudden we can see our past life stuff. Because I get it. Yes, I know. Because what they're going to do, they're going to connect. They're going to connect you with your positive ego to go through your past life stuff so that it's easier for you to release it. We cannot do that at this time with Bill. So as you go forward, as you move into your, in, in, into your high dimensional energy, which you guys understand you don't have a choice because you can't tell them no. Hey, Paula. Understanding that, 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 when the line connects, when the cord connects, when the line connects from your negative ego, which switches positive to your heart, which connects to your third eye, right? Connects to your clairvoyancy. All will be, all will be revealed. Most of you will be able to clear your own things without our help at that time in the next year and a half. It is not available to Bill at this time. That's why we're doing what we're doing with him. Some of you will have the same things that need to be cleared. You will, you will have different things that need to be cleared. You will be connected to different parts of your body. He says, but understand, human holds their stuff in their gut. And as it is not removed with their food waste. It is removed only by us. Oh, yes. Soon it will be removed by you and us. You'll be able to participate in your clearing. Unfortunately, Bill does not have that ability now. And he says, it is not the victim. It is not the hard road. Uh, it's not what his soul signed up for. It is, it is the world at large. That some people are having a hard time. That some people are going through dramatic changes to their human body without the ability to clear it themselves. Be able to psychologically, emotionally, and energetically clear themselves of what needs of of what's what is that spirit of what hampers them from being the channel guys you're all gonna be channels we're all channels it's just receiving that information in open fashion without interpretation spirit says of 3d which is in all of our lifetimes this is fascinating to me. I'm gonna to have to watch this guy. I won't remember anything that I'm channeling. Spirit says there's a reason for that because you're not, the, this is, I know. We've excused the human, Spirit says. This is strictly a, a, I get it. This is strictly a spiritual channel. This is strictly a understanding between us and Bill that he moves out of the way so that we can use him as the vessel to deliver the information in human form so we can um, allow human to understand what is coming for all of us, but especially the people who follow me and others like me. Spirit says, he wants you to understand you're all amazingly beautiful human souls and you chose to be alive at this time, that you chose the peril in your lifetime to get you to this point, to get you to this point of clearing, to get you to this point of understanding, to get you to this point of liberation. You are not like others on the... You are, uh, you are not different than others on the planet. 
everyone is going through at different levels in time of understanding themselves, of the challenges that they are, challenges that they are facing. Whew, my energy is like crazy right now. Only the best is to come. Only the, the, the purest form of light will take you to higher dimensions. Allow that light in you, Spirit says. Allow that light to guide you. Allow us to guide you. But fear stops human from moving forward. Fear stops human from, 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 from allowing us. And soon that will change. Soon that will shift. As the cosmos calms down, 2024 though. You will be in a totally different human place. You'll be in a totally different place by the end of this year, he says. And then on into 23, it will be a totally different understanding of who you are and where you're going. What they are afraid of is that human is going to try to pull back. Being afraid of losing their family being afraid of losing their children, which is not true. It is not true at all, but that's our fear from past lives. Hi, Joyce, welcome. That's our, that, that is our fear that we've, that we've learned instinctually about how do we survive? How do I stay alive? Um, because again, our, our human ego, let's say, right? Our spirit knows how we died every single lifetime, how challenging it was, how challenging it was last lifetime. Think about that. If in third dimension, it was 100 to 125 years, for me, we're talking like 1860 something. Well, hell, Abraham Lincoln was a freaking president. Right? Maybe I died in the Civil War, who knows? Maybe I'll find that out. But all of us, as we go forward, you guys, are all going to understand and be connected so deeply that you will be able to understand who you are and allow, and I know Spirit, he says, one thing that, one thing that, that will challenge you is the fact that you will try to pick and choose what you let go of, and that will not be allowed. It will be a washout effect, he says. It will be an absolute, where you will be in that dimensional energy and you'll be in that spot, and you will, um, and 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 their hope is that the majority of human will be at the level of clearing through tidal wave, not by pick and choose. He said because if it is by pick and choose, they will tidal wave it because they need you to be at a certain level of energy, a certain level of of higher dimensional of being a higher dimensional being. Then what human through fear will be okay to do. But I can just say, for the last three months of having this happen to my body, transformation. I mean, truly transformation. Frustration, anger, going back to my childhood of having kidney disease for eight years, right? Not, have, not knowing if I'm gonna live or die. Didn't, I was never told that. I was always told that I would be fine. And again, spirit confirmed that again voice in my head when I was younger, right? Don't worry about it. When I'm in the hospital for long periods of time, sometimes weeks at a time, um, because my kidneys had shut down. And back then they had no idea how to fix the nephrosis. There was no cure. Now it is cured. Thank you. Amen, right? Right? So understanding that, that, that we have to, um, that, 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 that in my lifetime, I can only look back and go, okay, it makes sense. But why? Hi, Kaylee. Why? Because my soul signed up for it. Why? Because it, it's freaking 11,000 years old and thinks it can do anything, which obviously it can. Hi, Shelly. So understanding my last three months have been very bizarre for me. Very bizarre. Over, overwhelming? Oh, my gosh. For sure. Um, Non-spiritual? Oh, yeah. For, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. You know, being in 3D, oh, hell yes. I mean, like, in 3D, like I was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. 
all of these remembrances, all of this stuff, they're clearing me out of my, of that, of, of, uh, I know. The clearing out of your library will, will, has already begun for all of you, Spirit says. We've talked about that before, right? We made a decision to cut those past lives, but it can't go like that. It's not like cleaning out the spam in your folder on your laptop or whatever. It doesn't look like that, right? We have it inside of our body that has to go with a process or die. Well, I'm not willing to die. I don't want it that way. I want to clear it this way. And that's what the deal is. That makes all the sense of the world to me. Makes all the sense in the world. Okay, I think they're good. What time is it? Oh my God, it's four o'clock. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, and then guys, he says we'll talk more about this next week. We'll talk more about transformation. Um, I may do some videos during the week. Um, I don't know. Again, I've been absent from social media because I'm just not guided to do it. Um, again, I've been guided to change who I am. I've been guided that the person I am right now, the person I have been, social media, and blah, 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 being seen, being visible, um, is not who I'll be in the future. Um, so it makes sense that they have me not being on socials and posting lots of things. Um, and, uh, you know, re, you know, reposting things and things like that. I think I posted maybe twice in two weeks on Instagram. It just doesn't connect to me. Um, and when I try to do it, I'll do it, but it's less and less every day. So, um, I have a psychic fair Saturday in Ann Arbor. Um, it's on my website, billhobert.com under see me, I think, or I'm not sure what it is. Maybe events. I'm not sure. And then next week. I'm supposed to be in St. Clair Shores. Um, we'll see how that goes. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday, that Friday before, for some stuff. So not really sure if I'm going to do that or not. So keep that out. Um, Livonia is the next week. And Frankenmuth is the next week. So I'm doing four psychic fairs in a row, which I never do, but guided to do so. Hi, Karen. Um, signed up for them, paid for them, right? And I'm not going to do any psychic fairs in July or August or September. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I, I'm telling you, we're probably going to be in Hawaii by then. So um, by the by August, August, September. Yeah. So that would be a true blessing um, to move. So um, thanks, guys, uh, for watching Coaching for the Soul. Thanks for doing it, right? Um, I love everybody. Um, I am so happy to help you, right? Um, I love the fact that you watch Holding of the Soul here live or you watch it on YouTube. Um, tell your friends, post it, do everything that you can, right? We're all a team. Um, I didn't get the Coaching for the Soul um, private group up because it just didn't happen, right? So we'll get it done when we can. Um, again, I'm 100% led. I don't interfere with anything anymore. And they want me to chill out and relax and do whatever. Um, they put barriers up and they put me in that state of suspension and for transformation, right? So, hey, Jody. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, thanks, everybody. Namaste. I will see you next Thursday at 3 for Coaching for the Soul. Um, yeah. And check out my um, website and the element packages. It's kind of a cool thing. Uh, let me help you. Help you. Let me help you help you. You know what I'm saying? Let me help you. Hey, Sister Martha. Um, so yeah. So um, element packages, they help a lot of people. They help a lot of people. So uh, go ahead and do that, right? So thanks, guys. I will see you next Thursday at three.